Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's Brian and Jim from Drink a Beer and Play a Game, and today <laughs> we're unfortunately going over the worst hockey game for the NES, and that is Wayne Gretzky Hockey. Released in 1988, this game originally came out on a whole shitload of computers. Well, it actually came out for everything in 88. So DOS, Mac OS, the Amiga, the Atari ST, and, well, the Nintendo, because you're watching this. Anyway, this was developed by... What? What? Bethesda? No! Wow. Alright, so, apparently, Bethesda used to only make really shitty computer games back in the day. Alright, well, they got some decent reviews, but they mainly did sports games for DOS and, weirdly enough, some licensed Terminator games. Besides that, they didn't really hit their stride until the first Elder Scrolls. Whatever. Anyway, the NES version. It was published by THQ, the other versions were published by Bethesda themselves, and, like I said, the computer version actually got some pretty glowing reviews back in the day. This version... Uh, Alright, let's start. Alright, graphically. Now while you're looking at this game, you may think, huh, kinda looks like a computer game. Well, to mimic what Jim just said, it was built for basically every type of computer console you could use back in 88. And guess what? I guess they decided, ah, oh, that's a good enough model for the NES too. What the fuck? Look at this. We can tell this was meant to be more of a straight hockey simulator versus an actual fun hockey arcade style game. Uh, I mean, if you're a pure hockey fan, maybe you got your jollies off on this game because you weren't satisfied with the arcade style of Blades of Steel. But it's just goddamn ridiculous. This top-down view, like, almost never works for sports games. And then you have... Oh, wait, they decide, let's throw in a little cutscene. But even look at this. Look at the flags hanging. What the shit is this? It's like they're saying the only countries that play hockey are the USA, Japan, Canada, and... What is that? Finland? Norway? I don't know. Anyway, we obviously weren't too impressed with the graphics, and it really becomes an eyesore after a game or two. So, we both gave it threes. And as far as the beer requirement meter is concerned, let's stick with that number three. Let's add three to it. Alright, the sound. The sound is... Uh, it's a big ball of meh. I mean, the intro music and some of the little sound clips, music clips are okay. The sound effects overall are just, they're really weak. We've heard way better ambient noise in older games. The sound effects are very basic. The digitized voice works pretty cool. But besides that, I mean, playing the actual game is almost completely silent. It's just, it's just really lacking. It's not terrible but it just misses the mark of even being average. So we both gave it fours. And I'll give it another two beers just because of that terrible he shoots, which you're going to hear again and again and again and again. Oh my fucking God, the control. Well, like any shitty sports game on the NES, it's got to have some shitty control. And boy, does this one not disappoint. Let me start off first by saying... We had no goddamn idea how to switch our players. You know, it's the NES. You got an A, B button, a start, select, and your D-pad. Pretty simple layout. Shouldn't be hard to find your player. So we do all the typicals. Hit B. Ah, turns out B just speeds you up. Hit A. Well, that passes and also acts as your shooting mechanism. So maybe if we hit up in a combination of these. Nope. It turns out you have to hit goddamn select. And look at this. What? You have to either take your fingers off the D-pad or just not use A or B and have your guy go ball slow just to select another goddamn player. Oh, and just to add on to that, it doesn't automatically switch to the player that passes to. No, no, no. Whoever you're selected as, it will stay that way until you select someone else. It, it's just annoying. And on top of that, it's stiff as all hell. We understand if this was on a computer and you were playing DOS, that's what you'd be used to. And using a keyboard would probably make this game much smoother. But the D-pad on the NES, good luck with your fingers, because they are going to be rub sore after this one. Other than that, the shooting, well, sucks too. I don't have much more to say. This is easily one of the worst controlling games we've ever played, and we both gave it twos. 
And because I like being lazy and it's already picked out, let's add two more beers to the beer requirement meter. The gameplay. Well, I'll give the game this. You get a lot of different options in the options menus. You don't give this game nothing! Nothing! I, uh, that really hurt to hear. Anyway, you get a lot of options, though they're, for some reason, those are hard to friggin' pick! The game's licensed by the Players Association, so you get real player names, which is cool, but you can't control the game, so it doesn't matter. You might as well have Johnny Dick in his hand for all the players, and it just, it just doesn't matter. The gameplay itself, the control's so horrible, the games are just bad. Like Brian said, th for me the biggest killer was the fact that the game does not automatically switch control to the player with the puck. Because when that happens, you're running around like a dickhead at the mercy of a goddamn awful AI system. And you know what happens then? You're gonna have penalties. And a lot of penalties. And you know what else comes with penalties? Two separate screens! You barely get one for goals, you get two for penalties, and trust me, there's a lot more penalties during these games than there are goals. Or anything else resembling hockey. Yeah, We gave it threes. It's just awful. I'm gonna add another three beers for the three points we gave this, and three was generous. <sighs> Don't. I gotta do it. I gotta do no. it. I gotta be fair. Rules. No! Listen, when we're talking about originality, we're talking about something new we haven't seen in previous games. It is not a reflection of if it's a good game or not. With that being said, yes, this game did receive high scores from us for originality. But listen... We obviously haven't seen a hockey game like this before. It did offer, like Jim said, a bunch of options, which included being able to have two players on the same team. Although once me and Jim got done playing one game against each other, we did not want to put ourselves through that torture of playing again. It did include speed options. It was a first, like Jim said, it was a first game to be licensed by the Players Association. So there is a lot of new things offered here. We both gave it nines. Still not a good game, so I'm gonna add two more beers. Fuck! Uh, fine. Uh, so you get you get playoff modes, you get training modes, you get exhibition games. You have two player modes against each other on the same team. You can do one against a computer. All the teams have different stats to them, which is great. So, of course, we had to give high scores to playability. Not that you'd ever want to play this the first time. God knows we will never, ever touch this again. If anyone ever requests a long play, I'm sorry, we're putting our foot down. No! We gave it eights. We had to give it eights. There's a lot of options here. You don't want them. I'm gonna add another three beers because you're just gonna need to keep drinking at this point. Well, clearly, overall, this is just an excellent game based on this review thus far. It's top notch! <laughs> yeah, no, surprise, surprise, it sucks. And this seemed to be a very popular thing for late 80s, early 90s, that famous celebrities would put their names in front of really shitty titles. Luckily, come to think about it, that doesn't happen as much today. But, unfortunately, there's also just franchise game series that it's one and done for each type of major sport. That being said, the only reason we even gave it a 3 overall is because it did have those added options. But really, you need to stay the hell away from this game, and we are not kidding when we say it is the worst hockey game on the NES. And not only is it the worst hockey game, it might very well be one of the worst sports games. I mean, we've played some shit, but man oh man. Has it not been as bad as this? Maybe in the future we'll do a top 10 worst NES sports games? Huh? Think about it. Alright, as far as the beer pairing is concerned, we couldn't on good faith offer up any suggestions for any beer, because we feel like you'd be wasting that beer on such a shitty game. So you're going to have to pick a beer on your own. We just suggest keeping it cheap. Something like Schlitz or something like that. Either way, thanks guys as always for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe or check out our Twitter or Facebook channel. See you next time. Cheers.